All right, well, good morning, everybody. This is Joshua Cole. It is seven o'clock in the morning, and I am beginning my morning commute uh, to Richmond. I want to invite you this morning to join us into a day with Joshua Cole or a day with a candidate. So here we go. Um, let's get on the road and experience a day with what a candidate does every single day. So I have a little walk before I get to my office. Um, I work in downtown Richmond and I have to look for parking. And then I walk to my office and I have a little bit of a walk. So a typical day for me consists of coming down here to work in the mornings, um, working, and then on my lunch break, either one do call time or two have meetings and today is going to be a mixture of call time and meetings so you'll get to see how that works out today all right good morning y'all hey josh morning <laughs> Alright everybody, so it's lunchtime and I am, instead of doing call time, I'm going to do a meeting with Mr. Brian Cannon, who's the Executive Director for One Virginia 2021. Hey everyone, I'm Brian. Uh, I'm with One Virginia uh, 2021. We're the good government folks advocating for fair redistricting in the Commonwealth. We're trying to get this right. We had some big success this past year. Uh, and we've got to redo, we got to do that all over again. We got to pass it twice in our constitution to get a constitutional amendment. But then we also have to do some other pieces. So uh, one of the things we do is brief legislators and candidates. And I'm happy to meet with Josh here today and talk about redistricting reform. All right, so the day is ending today, and I'm back in Fredericksburg, and we're here for a fundraiser. Um, so you guys can just say hello to a few of the guests we have with us. This is Caitlin Bennett. She's the chair of the Fredericksburg Democratic Committee. And we have so many different people who are coming in the door. And this is one of our awesome hosts, Mr. David Durham. Hey, how's it going? It's good to see you. Thank Likewise. you so much. I appreciate it. And so with you all gathered here tonight, I believe you feel a passion that you are empowered to make sure we see that change transform. And I'm really excited to see so many faces because that means you feel the calling on your heart, the calling in your feet, and the calling in your checkbooks <laughs> to make sure we see that change. And so don't give up on us now. I know we have a primary on June the 11th, and we still have to fight once we get over that hump. We still have to... All right, hey everybody, it's a little after nine o'clock and the day is over. Talk about a tired brother. Um, we go home, go to sleep, and we do it all again tomorrow.